Today I'm excited to share with you my incredibly easy 20 pips a day trading strategy for the forex market. Many people pass their funded challenges with this strategy so I'm sharing it with you guys. So if you enjoy give it a like and let's get down to business. Okay first we need to examine the daily chart to identify recent candlestick high and low zones. Our goal is to pinpoint the extremes of the previous day which will serve as new support and resistance levels for the next day's forex strategy. So all we want to do is select a horizontal ray tool from from tradingview.com and simply mark down the candlestick bottom and the top. After marking these on the daily chart, we want to shift our focus to the lower time frames to determine where we can strategically enter our trading position. So in this forex trading strategy, we will use the 4 hour and the 15 minute chart. The 4 hour chart is crucial for observing the overall market trend of the day. By adding the three simple moving averages, we can gauge the market direction more clearly. In this instance, a bearish trend suggests that the market will likely to continue to drop, providing us a strategic entry point for our trading strategy. On the 15 minute chart, although the moving averages are less critical than the 4 hour time frame, they still offer great value and insights on what the market will do next. As we can see, there was a pin bar candlestick suggesting there is a lot of selling pressure. And even if the candlesticks manage to break all of the moving averages, it's really not critical. Instead, it signals that a powerful trading setup might occur soon. Now, the essence of this trading strategy is really knowing a simple candlestick formation called a bearish engulfing candlestick. This is when the bearish candlestick swallows the bullish one. So we can see an example just over here, one time, two time, three time, all of these could have been potential entries. Now, of course, it's important to note that this trading pattern alone is not going to give you great success and results. So the real effectiveness of this Forex trading strategy comes from combining the candlestick pattern with other indicators. Ideally, we only want to enter the trade after the price reaches the extreme level just over here. Since the market is currently trending down, we want to trade off the daily high resistance. For example, moving three candlesticks for with, we might observe a bearish engulfing candlestick formation. This candlestick has touched the previous day's highs, given an extreme price level, which triggered a lot of sell orders, and that's why the price pushed down and closed as a bearish engulfing. This gives you a great idea what will happen next, which is likely the trend will continue. So in this forex strategy, we only want to consider entering this trade if the candlestick on the four hour time frame closes as anticipated. If it does, we can enter the trade covering the previous 50 moving average first take profit around 20 pips and then potentially you can target the bottom for 42 pips as well ideally you wouldn't want to risk as much as 30 pips for a stop loss so that's why we want to check the 15 minute time frame to find the more favorable trading position so here's what it looks like on the 15 minute chart we can remove this for now and basically the goal is now to have a bounce of the previous day high and break all of the free moving averages. Since we know that the 200 moving averages over here, it's kind of risky to trade this since the market can touch this area zone and then pull back towards the upside. And this is not what we want. We want to trade with the overall market direction and we need to wait for a strong bearish setup on the 15 minute chart. Okay, after a couple of hours, we get a strong bearish engulfing candlestick crossing all free moving averages. This is exactly what you want. So we can enter the trade risking about 17 pips targeted around 20 so I risk to reward 118 for now and as we can see the market does dip down and potentially you could have already made the 20 pips the reason you target 17 pips is because the moving averages will likely continue dropping down with the overall market direction and eventually you will cover them with your stop loss level that's the way I like to do it but you can also continue making money by targeting the previous days low just over here around 32 pips which increases your risk to reward to 1.89 and let's see what happens uh, if it continues dropping down and as we can see uh, yeah, we do get a nice drop towards the downside. The only time you want to close off the trade fully if it manages to break the 20 moving average. As we can see, it never broke the 20 moving average. Every single time it touched it or was near it, it went towards the downside, respecting the overall market trend. And that's why we saw this trading strategy work so well. Okay, now let's take a look at the bullish example. And it's slightly different because the overall market direction is heavily bullish, right? So the day trading strategy will react differently. 
differently. Initially, it's the same thing. We want to use the daily high and low of the candlestick to find strong areas of structure. So on the four hour chart, we can mark where the day has started so we don't get confused. And if we advance, three candlesticks only the resistance gets broken however we're not interested in entering at the resistance level although there's a bullish engulfing candlestick suggesting there's going to be further bullish pressure we want to actually aim for a favorable price level which is the support just over here not the resistance we don't care that it broke over here we want to get that price level that has juicy buying triggers a lot of buying pressure over here which means if they get triggered we might be able to retest this area zone or potentially go higher so we want to shift to the 15 minute chart and wait for the right opportunity to arise since the market is heavily trending towards the upside right we might have some sort of retracement and we need to expect that because it's sitting on the daily resistance line yes it's broken on the 15 that doesn't really matter because on the daily it might not break just yet so what we want to do is just wait for the candlesticks to do them things currently sitting on an important area of support just over here what you want to do now is go to the indicators and add a rsi indicator just over here just to see whether the market is oversold or overbought as we can see the market has been oversold now which suggests to me now that the confluence a lot of traders are going to be trading off this price level and the rsi is oversold meaning that we could potentially enter the trade just over here if you manage to catch the bottom of the week is even better you can have a minimal stop loss level something below the yellow line just over here target 20 pips to retest the previous area top level so let's say we enter the trade just over here somewhere this candlestick has retested the previous top level which is around 20 pips and then you can think about holding the trade to the previous area of resistance since now you have somewhere to aim for previously on the daily it was always going up right so on the 15 minute we now have somewhere to aim for because the market had the retracement the overall market direction is definitely bullish rsi is oversold we are sitting on the previous day's extreme level just over here we are expecting a push towards the upside and if god allows it it goes towards the upside and reaches our target profit level so potentially could have been 20 pips just over here for one-to-one -one risk to reward but you could have risked this trade further to gain you know a nice 4.88 risk to reward ratio by simply trading the high and low day trading strategy so this is probably the best trading strategy you can use when day trading forex it's consistent it's high win rate it will allow you to make a significant amount of money with minimal forex experience this makes it a really excellent forex strategy for all the beginner traders that are looking for a solid trading strategy anyway i recommend everyone to join my forex signals group we are smashing the markets as always and if you're looking for a another trading video the free step trading system i made is a banger trust me it's really good if you're a beginner trader you don't want to miss it